Hey y'all, Sarah Luhu here, and I am back again with Nightcry. So, I did some looking around, and I realized I hadn't explored this part of the beach, because apparently there was a lower section down here, and we have something that looks like a stick over here that we can click on. Or a human arm! <laughs> oh, it's just your foot. Keep it together, man. Indeed, Leonard, you're kind of losing yourself there, buddy. Oh, we can click on the footprints again! Nice! It won't let us click on them before. All the footprints head towards the thicket and disappear. Dead end. There must be a way around. Oh! Are you going to be able to go and look at this now? Hmm? Is that going to happen? Oh, now he can mess with it. Because I had to find a stick which opened up footprints and... I don't even know. <laughs> hmm, the thicket here seems to have grown unnaturally thick. How would you know it's unnatural? Could it be all the dead leaves? Because they do appear to be stacked on top of each other. Gonna just clear this way for us, Leonard. <sighs> Fingers crossed that everything records all right. My mouse is kind of like glitching a bit, but um, they did a patch the other day when I wasn't recording this, and since then my ability to game capture has kind of gone out the window. So this is a monitor capture, which is a little different, I guess. Oh, it's people! We were looking for you! Hey! Over here! Hey! Wait, no. He's people. We're trying to get to him. Or not. Maybe this was a bad idea. <laughs> Hello! Oh no! They're zombie people! Kobe! Eric! Where are you? Kobe and Eric are useless. Stand there, guarding a freaking boat. Anyway, but all right. Well, give me a moment. All right, we good? Yeah, we good. There's that son of a bitch. Okay, so avoid the light. That should have probably been a given, considering that we just ran past them perfectly the first time, and the fact that there's a flashlight shining. That was my own stupid fault. That was my own stupid, stupid decision. So yeah, people wearing masks are bad, and who have flashlights. Keep that in mind, Leonard. As I wasn't. What we got here? We got bones. Lovely, lovely bones. You got anything to say about those, Leonard? It's all a blue thing. Yep, there it is. What do you guys say about this, Leonard? These are human bones. It seems they've been here a while. You're awfully calm about that. Is that really? The owner of this hut must be quite a dirty fellow if they're happy to live among this filth. You like like the human bones? Okay. One good thing is, um, apparently since the patch, though, the dialogue has slowed down a bit. So, no, I'm not trying to click that. I'm just trying to walk around, buddy. Okay, and, yeah. So this is going to be a lot easier to read now. Uh, Rusty Gas Canister. It is just about possible to make out 1970 printed on this label. If memory serves right, the filling period for gas canister is about 20 years. What a relic. Anything else we can do with it? Nope, just a rusty gas canister. And what's this? Looks like a teapot. It is a teapot! Gonna make yourself some tea? Ah. Oh, so the gas canister works. Which means someone is filling it up regularly. Fascinating. Can we have some of that tea? Uh, when this whole thing is going to explode. Hopefully not anytime soon or while we're in here. What's up with the gloves? Gloves with a non-slip coating. These could be handy in the forest, get it? Handy! Oh, Leonard, you're such a comedian. Alright, so we got some non-slip gloves. Hopefully that'll come in handy. More is a light brown color. Yeah. Yuck. I really don't want to drink that. At least I'll be here if I need it. Kobe said the island was deserted. Is that really the case, I wonder? No, no. A freaking... Like, seriously, dude. You got a teapot and a stove and working... Yeah, it's totally deserted. It's clear with this shack built on top of it. Alright, what do we... Got something over there. Looks like a radio. Could it be a portfolio? This hand... This is handwritten. It appears to be a diary from the... Okay, whatever. I gathered fruit from the trees of the... I found a huge cluster of tiny crabs. They were delicious. I captured a wild bird that invaded my hut and fried it. It was delicious. A lot of delicious things on this island. Whoever they were seemed to have one opinion in everything they eat. Well, that was interesting. Anything else in there? 
Nope, just the same thing. Alright, so fruit, crabs, boxes. It's in the box. Again, food to go with our gluttonous occupant of previous times. What's in this one? Is it the same one? A baseball has been stuffed into the bottom of this box. Oh, this is the first thing I've found that shows any sign of humanity. Re really? Back in the day, I worked so hard on breaking ball, whatever. I'm not sure it'll be of any use, but it might as well. Whatever. Really, I say that the patch updated and slowed down some of the text. It apparently did not slow it all down, though. What else is in here? Wooden sticks are also stuffed into the box. Uh, you want to take one of those to beat the crap out of uh, flashlight people? No? Alrighty then. What do you got over here? Phone charger! Sweet! Use it, use it, use it. Um, oh right, right, right. Got to do this. But seriously, he's all like, this is the first sign of humanity. Now this is the first sign of humanity. How about this? This might be the first sign of humanity. Let me cause grave. Oh yes, and thank you for whoever pointed out that this is actually how you save the game. I was not aware of that before, but now we actually have something to work off. Alright, what do we got here? A notebook with fade stains. There's brown smudges across the surface. Well, is there anything in the notebook? Yeah, as if somebody spilled coffee on it. Well, no, but we do have what looks to be a radio. Or... Yes, we got a radio! Alright, um... Do you have nothing to say on this? Click? Clack? Hello? Well, hello, Satan. Um, can you send help? We kind of need it. <laughs> okay, let's try channel two. Hello? Anybody out there? Nothing on this frequency. What about channel three? How many damn channels are on here? That is the question, is it not? It takes a really long time for it to load. Oh, now we got something going on. Oh no! Leonard! Wait! What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell? Leonard! Oh, is he okay? Leonard? Or not? What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, what did we do? What did we do? One moment. We got the gloves. That's what our blue mark is. Oh yeah, that was something else that I was noticing. So, when we were doing our whole branching off in the chapter thing, apparently, like, each of these is something. Apparently we could have found a wedding ring, which we did not find in the beginning. We did send out the help message from Monica's phone, and apparently we could have found somebody called Jessica. We did not. So, we're currently red, blue, red, blue. Let's try making the next one another blue, hopefully. Because I'm pretty sure these are leading up to either the good or the bad endings. Because it's supposed to be a multiple ending game. I'm going to try playing through all, all the different endings, but I don't think I'm going to do like a full run through for everything. Okay, so I guess I'm not going to mess with that anymore. Because it just seems to have like an... I don't know. We're just going to continue on. We got our gloves. We got our ball. We got everything we need, I think. Right? Yeah. That was all that we could find in there. No sense messing with the radio if we don't have the frequency that we're supposed to tune it to. Or at least I assume we can tune it to it. I don't know. Why else would it be there? Ooh, left or right? What's left? Oh wait, this probably goes down to where that guy was, doesn't it? Well, I guess we'll find out in a minute. Indeed it does! <laughs> Let's not mess with that. Unless we can kill him. Can we kill him? Nah. We're not gonna kill him. Leonard doesn't need to deal with murder. Does he? Do you, Leonard? Do you want to kill that guy? We can go back. If you really want to. We can... What we got? We got our gloves. We can stick our gloves to his face and just murder the crap out of him. Alright, what do we got over here? Looks like a gate... Whoa. Yep, it's a gate. Can we open it? Is it locked? No, it's open. Sweet. Well, that was lucky. 
All right, what you got in here? Oh, a pit into hell. Oh, that's good. Hello, Satan. Are you down there? We heard you on the radio, so. Why isn't his light on? We turned on his light. Oh, there it is. No, that's not his. What is that? Is that you, Satan? Oh, nope, just a normal demon. <laughs> well, at least you dodged it. At least I didn't have to worry about that. Oh, there's so many of them. How did you miss all of these? <laughs> What monsters did this? Are they the horrific Sonny Bean Clan of legend? We should send in and investigate a party once it's all over, though right now I can't bring myself to take another look. Sure you can! What do you got here? A brown piece of decomposed cloth is melting in the muddy water. It's best not to touch it. You should totally touch it. It's questionable. But what's ever it? This is clearly important somehow, right? I don't know, there's plenty of stuff that we could have interacted with that wasn't important though. What we got over here? Brownish garbage is scattered across the core. It looks like shriveled fruit. The room smells ghastly. Where's it coming from? My nose feels like it might retract into the back of my head. Hmm. Is that really? Anything else? Nope. Sometimes when you click on things, you know, multiple times, it'll change into- Oh, look, another thingy! Some dirty cloth and a tube of something or other that has been left lying on the floor. Hmm, I might be able to use the tube of super glue. Okay, well that's good. I'm going to take it in case I need it. Always need first aid for cuts. Do you, do you super glue your cuts closed? What the fuck, Leonard? <laughs> Is that actually a thing? Super gluing cuts? I have never heard of that. I mean, I guess if you get some cloth or something, you can super glue the cloth together, but... I don't know, super glue would not be my first thought for first aid. <laughs> this seems a little weird. I hope everything's getting captured alright. Like, that's my biggest concern right now. At least my mouse is, uh, it's kind of blinking a little. Up! Oh! Light off. That moved, didn't it? It did. Shit, there's another guy over there. Let's wait. Let's just wait for him to scan and scan and scan and... Okay, go, go, go! Run, Leonard! Run, you some bitch! Oh, shit! Woo! Okay, what we got over here? There's something at the base, too. This appears to be a gong. If I had something to hit it with, I might be able to distract the guard. Like a baseball, perhaps? That's the only thing I can think of, because we didn't grab a stick. The surrounding floor has been polished to a shine. Um, are there people from the boat who land on- uh, whatever. People from the boat land on the island, yeah. Okay, shiny floor. Nothing new there. Or is it an indigenous clan inhabiting the island? I think it has to be the people from the boat. Of course, relief. A flat base similar to the Bayon style. It looks more primitive. The gong is a counterpiece is displayed as intended to serve religious purpose. Could this be the same gong that we heard, like... It's hard to determine the structure was made by some minor religious sect or by some crazy cult. I'll look into it in depth. Blech. Blech. I cannot read to What's this? What's in the shadows? On the ground behind the shrine is an object on the floor. It's about the size of a human fist. What, what's the object? Yeah, grab it. That looks like a fragment of one of those masks worn by the men on the trail. A fragment of a cracked mask that's on the ground. This could be a clue. I should hold on to this. Alright. That's doable. Alright, so... Was there anything else back there? Like, I th we got the thing, but... Nothing on the ground. Then why do you have it still available to click, huh? Alright. Let's see. Let's be very cautious about this. Shoot. Not too far. No, but I think it has to be the people from the boat. And I think they're getting possessed by that... Wind or something. Because they were all wearing, like, polo shirts and stuff. Alright. Let's see. Yes! I am smart! This does work! <laughs> yes, because surely this won't attract a crowd at all. 
Hi! Hello. Wait, did he really not see us? I mean, this isn't like a corner or anything. This is a flat wall right there. Alright, I guess he did see us. The mask helps blind him, I think. Alright, Lair, let's get the fuck out of here before Douchebag McGee with the mask comes back and screams holy hell for the rest of his, uh... Damn, it's dark. Alright, let's see. Over here? Should probably keep the light on. I just don't want to run out of the battery. Like, that's my biggest concern. I mean, it hasn't drained barely any, but I'm just, like, really worried about running out of phone battery and then needing shit. So, the light we could see from the boat was coming from the bonfire. A crowd of those people wearing the mask have gathered over there. I fear I won't be able to keep out of their sight much longer. Can we stick to the... No, there's lights over there. Shit! Okay, maybe there's... Can I not go back? No, no. Let's try going back. Leonard? He will not turn back. Alright, well, let's go to our death. Over here. Over here. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, nope. See? This is, like, ridiculous. But, yeah, they're all, like, wearing nice people clothes. This doesn't look very indigenous, eh, indigenous tribe-ish. Aww. This is going to transport us all the way back to the hut. Dead end, you don't say. It wouldn't let me turn back, though. What was I supposed to do there? Alright, let's see. Nope, no major choices have come up since then. I wonder how it would have changed if we had found Jessica, because that, that seemed like a huge... Alright, we're not back at the hut. We do have our glove, but we do not have our glue or our mask. Alright, let me go back and grab those real quick and I'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. So, let's see. There appears to be a second route over here that we missed before. I guess I was supposed to see this before I went out by the damn bonfire. Alright, what we got in here? Anything of interest, Leonard? What is this? Clothes on the hangar are clean. It looks like they were put here recently. They must belong to the group that took the life rafts. None of them who appear to have changed clothes, though. They were all wearing, like, polo shirts and stuff. Clothes are damp. They carry a faint aroma of the sea. Unless those aren't the same people. Who of the people on the life rafts were, like, taken hostage by the polo people? These look like female attire. Are the women in the group that took the life rafts too. If there are women with them, the group must may be terrorists, but with gender equality, so widespread these days. I don't know. Do you want to look at that again? Let's see. Because I want to see what he's actually saying about crap, but these days I probably shouldn't generalize. Okay, so. Who knows? Could be terrorists, could not be terrorists. We'll find out in the future, I suppose. What the fuck is this? <laughs> the surface of this female sculpture is chipped in places. Examining its figurative characteristics, this sculpture doesn't seem to have any religious value to it. I think it's just a mannequin. It's not car It's not caricatured in any way, nor is it silhouette. What? <laughs> da da da. Chipped in places. Yes, we know. Very re not very religious. No religious value. Uh, do, 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 do. It's not caricatured in any way, nor can its silhouette be interpreted symbolically. So it's simply unpolished statue. Okay. It just looks like a mannequin to me, buddy. What do I got here? The drawers for this cabinet have been left half open. They are empty, though. Charger! There's a fucking charger right there! Give me that shit! I'm gonna save. Phone charger. Oh, right. I have to select my phone. Let me do this real quick. Yeah, yeah, I should be charging just in case. It's really lucky that all these weird cultists happen to just have phone chargers lying around. Very, very lucky for us. Alright, very good. What do we have here? Uh, yeah, what do we have here? 
What is it? It's a list of the passengers aboard the Oceanus. It seems to be recent. Um, hmm, I don't recognize any of these names, though. <gasps> Could it be? Oh, major theory right there. What if the Oceanus is, like, shepherding people to their dooms? Oh, that would explain scissor itches so much. Yes, yes, we saw this already. Sorry, clicked on that by mistake. What do we got here? Seems it's leading us into this dark, creepy corner for some reason. A place, uh, plastic container has been shoved onto the shelf. Well, what's up with the plastic container? Nothing to concern yourself about. <laughs> and what about you? These cracked boards have been left to rot. They appear to have gathered dust over the years. And that's why there's so many shoes and stuff. They're definitely bringing people to their deaths. Candle stand has been placed on the shelf. Wish we had those matches. That would have been useful. Bet it reveals some hidden symbols or something. Mirror. What's on the thing? It's a mask again, though! It's polished to perfection. Yes, but the mask. And it's broken, and we have the other piece! Those and super glue! The mountain pass and the caves were wearing this mask. This one is split in half, though. I can't use it. Yep, that's unfortunate. What the fuck is that? Uh, yeah. That is not a good thing, Leonard. Is it the fucking mannequin doing this? Because the mannequin's on the picture, is it? In the mirror. Oh shit, oh shit. What we got here? Um. Help, shoes! Fuck, there has to be something going right here that we can use, right? Because I don't think we can go back. Or else. Oh wait, there's something! What is it? <laughs> fucking brilliant! That will definitely stop it, right? Just a creepy mannequin. Okay. Does that make you feel better, Leonard? Are you sure it's not going to kill us now? But we should probably pick up that mask. Cracked mask has been left on the desk. The men I saw along the way were wearing masks just like this one. Yes, they were. So, want to stick it on your face? Suggest it has some kind of occult significance. Because it was chiseled from rock. It's probably made by a unique religious culture. Of the kind almost entirely unheard of. Well, you would know. Yeah, we can fix it. We totally have the stuff to fix it. Uh, just stick that there. And I guess super glue? Yeah, there we go. Hopefully this works and that will help us get by the bonfire, right? That should do it. We just need to wait for the glue to dry. Ah, <gasps> so magical. All right. I should be able to use the mask now. How are you going to stick it on your face? It doesn't seem to have any straps. Are you just going to super glue it to your face? I mean, that'll work, Leonard, but I don't think it's the brightest idea. Then again, you don't seem to be having too many bright ideas. Alright, let's uh, save this real quick here, and then I'm going to have to end the episode. Alright, I should be able to... Re yeah, yeah. Recharge the phone. Okay, so damn, is that what the fucking cruise liner's been doing? Because if that's a recent passenger this thing and all this room is filled with clothes of passengers and all their belongings their shoes and stuff it stands to reason that maybe the oceanus is actually shepherding people to their doom and that like the staff or the crew <gasps> we can't trust eric or kobe i mean i wasn't like trusting eric too much to begin with because he was starting to get all scratchy like itches but kobe seemed awesome why is it good at all? But then what the hell does this have to do with the scissor person? The scissor walker thing? Is the cult summoning the scissor walker? Or is the scissor walker leading? I don't know. This is all very weird and strange. I don't know what the critique is for- Well, not critique? What am I saying? Criteria is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what the criteria is for people being possessed. Is it only like the crew that's allowed to be possessed or something? But- I don't know, I guess we'll find out more as we go along. And I'm pretty sure we're doing pretty decently because we did get the sticky gloves and we have the mask and everything's going good so far. I don't think... Maybe we can get like a medium end at the rate we're going. I don't think we're going to be, you know, straight terrible end, but... 
think we might be somewhere in the middle. I don't think we're going to get a good end right now either because we haven't done perfectly throughout, but we'll see. We'll see in the future. So, you know, like and subscribe if you want to, and thank you for watching.